Hello everybody, Dave here. Oh. This is going to be guitar lesson number one. So you've got yourself a guitar. We're going to start right at the very beginning. Care for your guitar. Um, got yourself an acoustic guitar. That's what most people get. Uh, first thing you do is wash your hands before you play your guitar. Very key thing, especially if you have a uh, one of these like lighter colored fretboards, you'll see some of them and then you'll see them real green. You can actually see where the fingers are placed because you have oils in your hands come out of your fingers uh, where the fingers have played over the years on the fretboard. Uh, if you get a rosewood fretboard, you really can't see it, but play with clean hands. Um, big tip, uh, always take the time, especially when you first get your guitar, go wash your hands before you play it. Get yourself a nice soft rag want to take care of your guitar with a soft rag. Um, uh, you want to always just shine it. Uh, back in the day, people used to buy Pledge. It's a furniture cleaner, smells like lemon. Spray it on and buff it up. Uh, I don't believe in using that. Just use, if you're going to use any type of soap or anything on your guitar, use a soft, very mild soap, a dish soap. Nothing too strong. Uh, don't soak your guitar with water and then leave it to dry. Dry it off always. and Just usually just a good buffing, just to, like that. Take care of your guitar before and after you play it. Before you play it, you want to might give it a little wipe down. Give your strings and push down hard enough that your strings touch the fretboard. Give that a wipe. Wipe it up here. Back of the neck always. You don't want, ever want any type of gook or anything on the back of your neck. Now we'll start talking about some of the names of the guitar and stuff like that. So you buy yourself a guitar and you want to talk to other musicians, you want to talk to other guitar players. Um, so you want to know some guitar terms. You don't want to feel like an idiot. You don't, you know, you want to know what it is you're talking about. Um, so I'll come a little bit closer here. And so, you start off with your guitar. Here is, uh, I guess, we'll start off just with the neck. You have your neck of your guitar. Obviously, this is this part of the neck. At the end of the neck, where the strings hit these metal pieces, that's called a headstock. These metal pieces that are in the headstock that the strings go to are machine heads. Um, as you notice, I'm playing a 12 string here. Um, your first guitar is probably going to be a six string. So don't worry, I'm teaching as a six string. Uh, don't let this intimidate you whatsoever. Don't let this black thing I have on here, it's called a capo or a capo. You say capo, people will know what you're talking about. Some people told me the proper term is capo. Um, but most people say capo here in Canada. Um, anyhow, don't worry about that either. Um, your guitar. Uh, like I said, you have your headstock, you have your machine heads. Um, each one of these spots between these wires here on the neck, that's your frets. Like there's your fret number one, that's a whole space right there. Fret number two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you see, you'll have like little fillers in your frets. Usually most guitars come, not so much on your first fret, but usually your your third fret and your fifth fret is going to have a little dot or something inlaid in your fretboard to show you these spots. They're like root places to uh, help you keep uh, your mind where you're at. Um, when I'm playing this guitar, any type of lesson, anything I give you, we're going to treat this, my capo or capo, as my nut. <laughs> Not my nut, but my nut. Let's just see this white piece right here. That's called a nut. All guitars have that. Uh, uh, I have an electric guitar. It has it too. See? It's called a nut. That white piece up there. It used to be made out of bone back in the day. Um, now they're made out of plastic, synthetic. Uh, synthetic nylon, anyhow. Um, another key thing about... Uh, well, actually, we'll stay with talking about the guitar. You've washed your hands, you wipe your guitar down, talk about here's your headstock. I'm going to keep saying these things over and over. 
Um, that way you're, you're going to know what I'm talking about and you're going to know what you're talking about when you ever go to speak to somebody. Machine heads. And uh, look really close right there. Do you notice which way the strings actually go on the machine heads from this half of the guitar to that half of the guitar? That is a proper way because you might get a guitar and you might break your strings, but you notice how they come from on this half of the guitar, your fatter strings, they come from the outside turning this way on all of them, that way, that way, that way. If they came and went this way, it'd make a bit more of a turn off your nut. So it's kind of done that way for a reason. And this half here is the opposite. It's a mirror image. This is a mirror image of that. You know, so if you ever have to change your strings, you know, that's how they should go on. You ever pick somebody's guitar up and they have them and they're wrapped around the other way? Well, they didn't know what they're doing when they're putting their strings on. Anyhow, we will get back to talking about the guitar. Now, we have these little wire things in the middle here. That's your fret wire. That's what you call this a fret wire. Um, also, when you get a guitar, People might pick it up and play it. Uh, this is a true story. Um, when I first had a guitar, I, I played it. And it was, uh, uh, I remember uh, handing it over to a friend of mine to come over and check it out, who was a great guitar player, been playing guitar forever. Picked my brand new guitar up and he says, wow, this has got great action. And I'm thinking, I didn't know it could dance. I didn't even know it had legs. <laughs> but uh Apparently what he was talking about action is the height of the string from your fretboard. So if you have low action, meaning you don't have to push down very much to create your, your sounds that you want to create. If you have high action, which older guitars tend to get, the neck starts to, starts to give on it, you, your strings start to be, tend to be higher away from the fretboard. I used to have a 12 string guitar before and the strings were like an inch away from down here were like an inch away from the fretboard and I had to push so hard still couldn't hold down the two strings and uh, anyhow we'll get down to the base of the guitar down at the back down here this is called a bridge and these are called pegs your string pegs well most acoustic guitars have this if you're playing nylon strings you might not have this style you'll have a tie on Usually just a holder for classical guitars, um, but we're just basic guitar playing. Maybe you got one for Christmas. Uh, maybe you have one in the closet and you want to learn. Um, we're going to start off there. First thing you do too is now is you got to tune your guitar. Um, I recommend learn how to play with a pick um, right off the bat, and also, uh, but it'll be easy to start off with a pick. Um, we're not going to learn any intricate uh, type of picking or anything like that. But by the end of today, hopefully we have you playing uh, at least one string little riffs. Um, so first we want to tune our guitar. Now, I was under the understanding back when I learned guitar because I didn't know the proper things. That standard tuning guitar was this string tuned to the next string, tuned to the next string, tuned to the next string would be standard tuning. That's not the case. Standard tuning is referring to what's called concert pitch, 440 hertz. If you use these terms around a guitar player, most guitar players who've been playing for a while know exactly what you're talking about, and then they know you know what you're talking about when you say these terms. Again, standard tuning concert pitch. 440 hertz. You don't have to say the 440 hertz. That's just a little added on there. Um, anyhow, standard tuning. I have this guitar now tuned in standard tuning, even with my capo there. This is in standard where you want your guitar without this. This is what you want. So if you want, you can actually grab your guitar. And this is uh, very key too. Uh, I didn't know strings. Um, you watch some lessons and a person tells you, well, you take your index finger, put it on string number two and uh, on the third fret. Well, okay, I know one, two, three. Here's the third fret. 
Is this string number two from the top down, or is it string number two from the bottom up? Huh, I'm not too sure. Well, you learned string number one is from the bottom, then you count up. So string number one, string number two, string number three, four, I'm going to try not to hit the extra strings I have on this guitar to make it easier for you just for while we're tuning them. So if you go to your top string, your sixth string, it should sound like that. Now here's where the neat thing about tuning a guitar. Um, something you're going to learn and you can practice this over and over. Whenever you pick up your guitar, um, what I used to do back in the days, we never had the internet like this, is I had a song, a favorite song, which, uh, or not a favorite song, but I had a song that I knew that when it was being played, that the main part of that song was in a, was what I know now is called G chord. I didn't know back then it was a G chord. I just knew that it was this chord. <laughs> That's all I knew was this chord. So I knew that when I found that on my sixth string, that actual sound to match that song when I played it through the stereo, that I could turn off the stereo, now I could finish the tuning on my guitar. So once you have your sixth string two, you're gonna go up to the fret number five. So you're gonna count up five frets. One, two, three, four, five. There should be a dot on your neck of your guitar or even a, a you know, like a, a sickle. It could be anything in there, a, a bird. If you got a bird, you got one of those songbirds, you got yourself a sweet guitar. Somebody bought you a nice guitar. <laughs> Anyhow, um, here's a, a Gibson style. This isn't a Gibson, but you see how big those are? They don't have it on the first fret, but it has on three, five, seven, Three, five, seven, nine, and twelve. Twelve is sort of like key. Twelve frets, because your twelve fret is where you get a harmonic. That's later on lessons. Anyhow, so you're going to start off with that, and you're going to go up to the fifth fret, where you have that dot on your guitar, and you're going to push down as hard as you can with your index finger in between those. And you're going to strike that sixth string. And you want to sound like that. Now, once you get that a clear sound like that, you might even have to do it like this. Get ready. Uh, your fingers are going to get sore. Um, especially on the strings, they feel rough. Uh, they got little spirals in them. Um, uh, I used to actually slide my fingers up and down until they hurt. <laughs> Your fingers are going to get sore. That's okay. Uh, you'll get to a point to where they don't get sore anymore, and actually they get a little bit tough, on, a little hard on the ends of them. Um, that's just a natural thing, but don't you worry about that soreness. It's all part of playing guitar. It will go away even if you only play guitar like once a week. Um, it will it will go away, and it will go away pretty fast too. It will be sore at first too, but... Uh, that's kind of like, I guess, first time you go to work out or something like that. So you're going to press down on the fifth fret, string number six. Then you're going to hit string number five, open, and see if it sounds the same. That sounds the same. If it didn't, I would go up to my machine head, string number five. I would turn it, because you have them done this way. This isn't something you have to remember. This is something that will naturally happen is you tune a guitar, you're going to tune it this way to get it to go higher, this way to go lower. You're going to know that. It's just going to become an automatic thing. Um, that's not something you have to write down. Make sure you turn clockwise to make your string tune up. Uh, and on the other half, go reverse. No. <laughs> just tune your strings. This is like self-taught playing. So you're going to do that. Fret number five. String number 
string number six matches string number five. Then you're going to move up to fret number five on string number five. Then you're going to hitch open string number four. Sounds the same. Open means uh, no fingers pressed on it. That's what an open string means when any time we refer to open. It means no string pressed down. Now you're going to go on the string number four and do the same. Staying on fret number five. Sounds the same. Good. Now we go to here's where you get your little bit of a change. Now when you get to string number four, three and you're tuning it to number two you want to drop down to fret number four fret number four there on string number see how that's done all of them are fret number five so you get to string number three and you have to drop down the fret number four to match that to string number two. A little too fast for you there, we'll slow down the fret number five. String six matches string five. Fret number five, string five matches string four. Fret number five, string four matches string three. Fret number four. String three matches string through two. Back to fret number five. String two matches string one. If you get your first string in that proper tune, right there, you get your first string sounding right there, you tune the rest of your guitar, it's going to sound properly tuned. So, you're going to get your guitar all nice and tuned up. Now, once you're all in tune, we're going to start um, one finger playing here. Uh, we're going to do one string. Um, uh, one of the first, uh, I'm a rock and roller. You may not be aware, with the, aware of this song, though. But Smoke on the Water, just one finger was the, one of the first things you'd learn. And you try to learn it on string number six. Once you get comfortable on string number six playing this, you're going to attempt to do it on string number five. You'll probably go string number one first and then see if you can try to do it in the middle of them. But anyhow, it's done this way. It's Number six, third fret. You're going to push down as hard as you can. For you first time players, I recommend this. Don't lift your finger off and try to come up here, which you'll do as you get better at playing. Keep your finger there and slide it up. You'll get a little bit of a callus on your finger. Uh, yeah, your finger is going to get sore, but you want that. You want your finger to get sore. So it's going to be open, third fret, fifth fret. Open fret, third fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, open, third fret, fifth fret, third fret, open. And you're going to keep doing that over and over and over. If somebody is in the room with you, you're going to drive them crazy. Yeah. Then you're going to go to well, try it on string number one. Thing about sliding on string number one, you feel like you're actually cutting into your fingers because that is such a thin string, it's almost like a wire or a razor cutting into where the top one's up here. You got the groove in it, but that'll make your fingers rough. Um, be a little more careful down here, you don't want to start bleeding. <laughs> Call Red Cross, anyhow. Open third, fifth, open third, sixth, fifth. 
fifth, open, third, fifth, third, open. Then you try to see if you can get in the middle one. I'm sorry, I cheated there. I used more than one finger. You should only be using the one finger. Okay, with the one finger. Um, no problem with doing this because by now you're not playing in front of your friends or family or anybody. I sure hope not anyways. Um, you're just still learning your guitar. So you're going to learn stuff like go make yourself. Um, what was a nursery rhyme you knew when you were a kid? Like, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, right? something like that, you know, so you, <coughs> you play around, you find uh, little things like that. I remember uh, the song to the mafia. I can't remember how to do it now, but I remember doing that. Um, you start to learn things. So uh, playing with one finger. one finger so you're going to do that but go back to your smoke on the water now once you think you've got that one finger now we're going to go to two fingers we're going to go to these two we're going to miss this one that one's not polite we'll miss it we're going to go with this one so it's going to be we're going to go. Sounds easy, but you will be doing this for a little while. You'll be working on this again. Here's how it's done. Try to get nice close enough for you. You got that that's your one finger playing and turn this a little bit there so now you got your one finger playing now you're gonna add a third finger now you get comfortable doing that you maybe do it down on string number one and it down a little bit there I'll help you a little bit now you're doing this on string number one, right? You're playing it the same way now. Notice from here I don't lift it off. I go from sixth fret to the fifth fret. Just slide it down. You feel that your finger go over that wire. You know, I'm telling you it's time to... Hit the, hit the string again, not while it's on the wire, in between the wire. Okay, so again, two fingers. Open, three, five, open, three, six, five. What does the numbers mean? The frets. Ignore that I have a capo on here. You're counting from your nut. You'll be open as an open string, no fingers. Three means you'll be on your third fret from your nut up. <laughs> That's the proper name of it, anyhow. So now we're gonna add our baby finger. You've practiced that now. You've been practicing. You think you've got it. You can do the two finger deal even make a little bit of fun. You're going even fast at it now. Um, you're doing it up on the string number one. String number two. So 
you're feeling like, yes, you're getting it, don't go and play yet in front of anybody. You're not ready yet. But now we're going to add our baby finger. You won't be ready after this lesson. Uh, but one more, yeah. Next lesson, we'll have you playing chords within an hour. And you'll be, yeah, go be able to go play. If you can sing, <laughs> you John, know you're playing. <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, so you're going to add now our baby finger. Our baby finger, we're going to use that for the sixth fret part portion of it. This is going to be difficult for you first timers to be reaching all the way up to that sixth string, but it's going to be good exercise for your hand muscles and your fingers and to be able to press hard. Um, but first you're going to try it on string number one. We'll make it easy for you, okay? So it's going to be open, that finger, that finger, open, that finger, baby finger, ring finger, open, index finger, ring finger, index finger, open. So we'll always identify the hand as thumb. I don't play with my thumb, though a lot of people do. They can play with it over this way. And, uh, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, baby finger. So we're back to using the baby finger on the sixth fret. So it's open, third, five, open, third, six, five, open, third, five, third, open. Now I'll call the fingers, open, index, ring, open, index, baby, ring, <laughs> open, index, ring, index, open. Pretty simple, right? Now you want to get real challenging, you got big hands maybe, maybe you played a bit before, try it up here. If you can reach it up here, make that clear, you're doing really, really well. Um, you progress quite a bit. It probably took me about a year to get what I'm showing you right here. Um, like I said, back in the day, we didn't have the internet. I didn't have anybody to show me. I used to look at pictures and try to uh, become a sponge to anybody who was a guitar player and give me the time of day. Um, so here we go. It's open, third, five, five, open, third, six, five, open, third, five, third, open. Now I'm doing this live. Um, there's doesn't matter. There's nobody on here right now, so somebody can go back at any time and uh, review this video uh, for your first time guitars. And I'm going to do one every single week. Um, maybe you're a week or two ahead, or maybe you're like you've been playing guitar and you know uh, chords and stuff like that. Um, I'll give you one-on-one -on -one lessons on anything I know on guitar. And, uh, that's what I'm here. What I'd like to do is just share my knowledge on the guitar for free if anybody wants to ever pop on there um, right now. So I'm just doing an introduction. So if somebody gets a guitar, they might check it out. Um, there's plenty and plenty. There's thousands of sites, thousands of lessons on there. Mine's free. I ain't messing around. I'm a self-taught guitarist. I've been playing for a long time. I can play most of the chords. A lot of songs. I'm um, not very much of a uh, singer, that's for sure. But I love playing the guitar. Never played in a band. Uh, not very promising. But uh, if you want to check out some of my videos, maybe you'll see. If you'd like to learn how to play I, how I play guitar, I've been playing like for almost 40 years. And uh, I'll show you probably in six months everything uh, I know. And you'll be able to play, if not as well as me, better. Um, because when you're learning, is that's the key part, is the early parts of it, right? The early steps. So anyhow, we're back to three fingers. Now, we already called out the frets. Now we'll call it the fingers. Open, index, ring. Open, index, baby, ring. Open, index, ring. Oh, or index, open. So like I said, you can play, uh, then you start doing like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right?
practice that and you start working on your rhythm and your hitting of the string, your timing. Your fingers are gonna get sore. That's so good, that is so good. <laughs> give you a little bit of advance uh, your next lesson or maybe you've already got a guitar you, anything I'm showing you here you're not learning anything new um, but go back and touch bass on it here's something's really sweet though I forgot to say most guitars now you got a tuner I'm playing a 12 string here I am so fortunate to have this 12 string because 12 strings are notorious for going out of tune this one stays in tune so well um, I got myself a sweet gem here. I didn't pick it out either. Uh, somebody bought it for me, very special. Anyhow, you can never, 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 never <laughs> give your guitar enough. Be proud of it. It's like, treat it like it's you. Well, it is you, so you better treat it good, but there's nothing worse when you see one all beat the crap. And it's like, respect your instruments please 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 um, John Hyatt has a song he wrote about Pete Townsend smashing guitars and he could never understand why it's actually a really good song I don't know when I don't know why smashed a perfectly good guitar or how or why but he smashed a perfectly good guitar and it's like why would somebody do that it's like an instrument if you don't want to play your guitar and you want to you feel like you you could smash it. Give it to someone who doesn't have one who wants to play a guitar. Um, yeah. All cities got homeless people. We got a lot of homeless here. I've uh, been to Vegas. And that. They got homeless there. Uh, go give your guitar to one of them. Maybe they won't be homeless so much longer. Let them earn themselves a little bit of keep, anyways. Anyhow, we'll go back to. Um, here's what you're going to learn in the next lesson. Uh, right off the bat. Hopefully you practice this. Don't worry, I still got one more little thing I gotta show you in this lesson. Um, once you learn how to play it, and you're doing that with three fingers now, and you're playing Remember, start off one finger, your index, then use your index and your ring finger, then you're going to add your baby finger. That's all you're going to use for today's lessons. Um, for two years worth of what I learned. Two years, two years. Um, then you're going to go uh, for your next lesson. So you're going to learn that you're going to take these two fingers. Remember I told you in lesson, this lesson how important they are? They're going to be so important in your next lesson because you're going to be placing them on like the third fret, your one finger, and you're gonna take your next finger and you're gonna place it two frets up, one string up, and you're gonna hit the two strings. And it's gonna hurt in here, your muscles. And it's gonna feel strange, you're gonna look over. You might even have to take your other hand, place your finger, do that and then once you got your finger there concentrate on putting pressure on these two fingers down and at the same time on not hitting you don't want to hit string number three you want string number three to be open so you want to be over all the strings and pushing down hard strings with it but we're going to play around in that formation and when we're coming to playing around that formation for your real daring ones by uh, part of the lesson two we'll also incorporate uh, your old rocking uh, baby finger but there's a much easier way to do that so don't get knocked up or worried about that one that's an easy one um so we'll go back to hands clean <coughs> find yourself a nice rag something soft not uh, this is very soft it's almost like uh, one of those plush teddy bear toys 
Um, you don't want anything abrasive, anything to wear it down. Uh, of course, when you're giving your little machine heads the tuner knobs here, machine heads the part up here that the string goes into, the back part these here is your tuner knob. Now, the tuning knob, um, you don't want to turn them when you're, you know, you just give them a little wipe. You're basically keeping the dust off. Uh, places that get really dusty is right in here at the nut. Right in there, you'll get a lot of dust in there. Same as right down here at the bridge. Um, so sometimes I'll take my rag and I'll tuck it under the strings and give it that little uh, floss dance thing that the kids are doing all over the place. <laughs> One day I should learn how to do that. Not. <laughs> So, on top of it, here's some things you can look forward to in the future. Um, then we'll advance. Once you learn how to play with two fingers, we'll show you a couple little cheap, cheap tricks. You'll actually be playing songs. Once you're playing songs, by all means, go start playing in front of people. Uh, you're going to start learning chords. Um, we're not going to learn chords. There's seven chords. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all there is in the guitar. Now, in those chords, they'll call them majors. They'll call them minors. They'll call them A7s, G7s, uh, a B sus. It's, it's ignore it. Uh, the only ones you really kind of might want to know is A minor. Because there's an A major, which is a very common chord, and an A minor, which is a very common chord. So you'll be playing basically eight chords is what you're going to learn, but seven chords, well, it's the basic chords. And, uh, but we're not going to learn them in order, A, B, C. We're going to learn them probably in the most played chords, um, which is like, like a G. I mean, you'll learn three chords. Three chords using no more than three fingers. We're going to use these three fingers. We're going to let our little baby finger have a rest. Some people can use their baby finger and do it this way. We're going to do it the easiest way because we're beginner players, right? Let's we'll just later on, five years down the road, then we'll start to get a little fancy and change the way we want to play our chords. So we're looking for the cheapest way when we get forward. So you'd be playing, once you play three chords, it's like. So there's a Bob Dylan tune just off those three chords there. Um, along with those three chords too, if you're so creative, you've been wanting to play guitar, and now you got three chords under your belt, you start doing yourself your own songs. Again, we'll start at the beginning. You got yourself your guitar. You're going to keep it clean. You're going to wash your hands when you play your guitar. You're going to take care of your instrument. You can never buff it up too much. Don't be getting too crazy spraying freaking uh, wood furniture polish spray on it. Don't get crazy. Don't be using turpentine. Uh, very, very mild, mild uh, dish soap, if anything. Uh, but a nice soft cloth, nothing abrasive. Oh, so soft. You're just going to wipe it down, especially where your hands are. Your hands have oils. Even though you wash them, you're sitting there, you're rocking it out, you're playing your guitar, you're jamming away. Of course, it's going to get, uh, your oils are going to come out. You're going to start getting oil on the guitar. Cool thing about the live lessons is that at any time, if I get one or two people who want to learn how to play guitar, you can actually ask me. Um, I'm right here, one-on-one -on -one lessons, and I'll show you how to play. I'll, I'll slow down and specifically even focus on what your question might be. Even spend the full hour lesson um, taking care of whatever it is you want to know. Now, again, we'll get back to 
the bridge. Oh, again, you buy a brand new guitar, you get these tuners. I got one on here for this 12 string. I'm sorry, I got lost in a little tangent about how this guitar stays in tune. But you get a tuner, you want to tune your guitar, and it'll tell you what string you're tuning. Like, uh, use your E string. You have two E strings. You have a low E and you have a high E. And as you see, it says E on there when I hit that. And you see how the line in the middle goes to the center, almost with a little candle wick lid on the top of it. That means it's total in tune. So I'm fortunate to have that. Um, here's, a, here's a bit of a problem with these tuners though. Uh, you first put a set of strings on, you know what? You keep tuning, turning your, uh, your machine head up there, your tuner knob, um, every, time it passes uh, like the seventh fret, it's gone up another string. So you actually have to find the right tone uh, for for the E. Like that's an E now, but I can have that tuned way down and still have the same E to me. Actually, this is tuned up a little too high. I'm gonna tune this back and then I'll show you again. either just a sliver below the E or a sliver above. There we go. See that E? That little blue square? That's what you want. And you turn your rest of your strings. Uh, again, it's a fifth fret for all your strings, but you go up one. So you hit string number three, and you go down to fret number four. That's only string three to string, string four to string five. String three to string two. Uh, I'm getting confused. Start all over. Fifth fret, string one to two. Fifth fret, string two to three. Fifth fret, string three to four. Fourth fret. String four to five, fifth fret, five to six. That's if when you get that, you should have this sound. Sound like much, but that's actually a Kenny Chesney tune now. And he actually just kind of played sort of like that way. There's a part where he gets full bar chord into it. Ah, another terminology, bar chording. Uh, bar chord. Bar chording. It's like when you make a bar, a full bar. <laughs> cool thing to do, find a commercial. Um, see if you can play along on the one string to it. The more fingers you can add in, first try to play with your one finger, then you're going to add in your ring finger, then you can add in your baby finger. If you get really creative and you want to add in your next finger, do that, because that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump forward here. This is a great, great exercise. Uh, definitely not done for the sound of it. Um, uh, to appease anybody, it's not a song or anything like that. Um, but anyhow, what I used to do when I first picked up my guitar is I used to tell myself, okay, I got to exercise my fingers. How am I going to exercise my fingers? I'm going to start off on string number six, fret number one, index finger. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up. When I hit my baby finger, 
I'm now going to take my index finger and go up to string number five, but I'm going to start up a fret. See how that's done? Then I'm going to progress the same way here. Now, at the same time, this is coordination. Um, you're going to try to pluck the string as you're hitting it, and you're going to climb all the way up. That is hard. I used to tell myself I have to do that twice. I have to do that twice. I have to get it twice right before I can start going, having fun and creating and singing and thinking I'm a guitar player. <laughs> so we'll do that again. Start off on string number six, fret number one, and we're going to climb up all four fingers. It's almost like a tarantula. As you get better at it, you get more confident, see if you can go faster. But here's the big trick. When I used to have to do it two times, I used to go back down. Uh, you, this being just your first week's practice, um, this is for you to be doing this after now. You've used your index finger. You've used two fingers. three fingers you've done it on numerous strings you're comfortable with all that you like all that now you're gonna go up here you're gonna work this you do it two times before you can go and start playing uh, learn how to do this after you do those and then you can do this this is two times, forward and backward. had more times not ending up in the same place that I started uh, than I do hitting the same place I started. Mind you, I don't do this exercise anymore now when I play. This was back when I was learning. I'm trying to give you a little bit of a head start. Um, uh, if you start doing these things, you'll find that, trust me, in two, three weeks of lessons, you'll be sitting there, you'll be playing songs. You'll be sitting there going like this. Ten more minutes here. One of the things you can look forward to if you want to stick around for some lessons is, uh, I don't know how it's going to sound. Uh, hopefully it works. Let me try a little bit of a jam. Uh, I have electric guitar. And I have sound effects, which I like to use. Uh, I mess around. Here's some of the toys I mess around with, uh, which I can use, show you. Uh, this here is a Digitech effects pedal. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, I also have a looper. I already pre-corded a bass line on there. Very similar to my last video, staying with the old rock style. Um, got my Les Paul Epiphone. And uh, 
Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. I don't know how the mic's going to record. I recently tried recording on the mic. Uh, recording is fine. Uh, live, it seems to cut in and out. Um, hopefully you can hear this. There. And play. in the free world. Good way to sign off your first guitar lesson because I'm a rocker. And uh, so, rocking in the free world, basically, goes like this.
what's the fun about these drum machines and all that stuff? Uh, I'll make it on into later on. I myself am only recently new to an electric guitar, maybe three years now. I cannot reiterate over and over and over how much you should take care of your guitars. Clean, clean hands when you're playing. Clean your guitar before you play. Clean your guitar after you play. Um, I know it's like gender and everything. Everybody is a little crazy over it. Um, but I remember being told. I oh, didn't stop that one. Huh. I need to cut a string. I remember being told um, treat your instrument like you treat like you treat a lady, treat it with respect. You're not playing? Put it away. In the case, don't leave it out to get dust. Humidity, dryness to hit it. Um, that's lesson number one. Uh, if you happen to come across this video and you like it and you want some private tutelage, by all means, uh, pop in next week around the same time. Um, and it's 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock uh, Mountain Time, Canada. Um, when I'll be doing these, um, maybe 5, 5.30, but hopefully they can do one every Sunday. Next Sunday, we'll get into learning some chords, a uh, little bit of chords, uh, two-finger playing uh, up and down. Uh, uh, me being a rocker, it's going to consist of, like, the cars. Uh, very easy song. Uh, uh, I don't want you coming here, wasting all my time. You can see me no so near, I kind of lose my mind. Yeah, yeah, it's songs like that. Um, these were songs that I learned, and basically that's what I'm just showing you. Um, everything I learned was the hard way, though. Uh, so things will get easier, hopefully, for everybody. And uh, uh, hopefully you tune in next week. If you don't, I'm going to listen to this number two. Maybe one day I could be long dead and gone 20 years from now. Somebody might stumble upon this and say, this guy I can learn from, because at least he ain't messing around. I'm not properly taught, so... I'm self-taught, so I'm not going to sit there and mess around with jargle on. Be here and there. If you want to be professionally taught, by all means, go do it. I have way too much fun to be that far serious about playing guitar. Guitar is an escape. Uh, fun. It's fun to be creative. Uh, it's even fun when people enjoy what you do. Uh, that makes it even more fun. Um, again, signing off. Uh, hopefully, tune in next week. Sundays.